the rules by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can connect Flame Painter 3 Pro and Photoshop together in CC 2015. There is a slight change with CC 2015 in the extension manager is no longer available. So what you have to do, there's a file and scripts. Once you've obviously downloaded the connect plugin, scripts and browse. Let's go now, and I'm just quickly going to go up to my desktop, there it is, and see that, and go to the installer JSX file and run that. Now I'm not going to run it, I've already run that, so, uh, but just run that by the open command. I think it would actually say run, but anyway, open, and that's it. So once that's done, you can go into Photoshop, and I've got Window, and extensions and you can see there flame painter connect and there's a little panel over here very not much information on it particularly it's got a little ps to fp just click that now best way to run it i think is to actually already have flame painter actually running so i've got photoshop cc 2015 and flame painter running at the same time and then just for this design here this picture just click there and you'll see it will just suddenly whir around a bit as it transfers the information over into Flame Painter 3. Now, of course, you could actually do much the same with copying, <laughs> but that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Now, what you could, once you've actually got the document over there, what you can do then is just obviously apply the usual effects, and there's some great effects in this Flame Painter 3 Pro. Brilliant application, various things like flame. Now I'm obviously not just gonna just gonna quickly use my heart pad Oops. and just quickly add some flames. So you just dramatic flames just in the background, you can just scatter them over there. Right. Very, very quick. Now what you can do then, of course there's the various effects as well, which are quite nice, blur and glow, but I'm not gonna use those. Now you can go to layer and export to Photoshop. And again, you can do much the same with the copy command, but it's just a nice little export to Photoshop. And then that will export it over all the, just go back to Photoshop. And there you have it, very nice quick flame. Now, it does a lot more than that, and I'm certain that's the reason why there's this lovely feature to be able to connect between the two. So I'm obviously, I'm just using it with one layer. So it's not, uh, not using it on multiple layers. There you have a quick and easy way of using the two applications and it's just a great plugin as well. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.